Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Potluck, your everything and anything talk and entertainment TV show. My name is Laura Hartman, and I am your host. Today we have some wonderful guests joining us who are a part of the Straight Entertainment, and one of them has been on the show before. She was pre previously known as Elle Maxine. Now she's Max Maxine, and we'll get into that a little bit later of the name change. And with her are we have Little Tizzle, Main Man, and then George Hooks. So welcome to the show. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much, thank Laura. you. So much. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. 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 Pretty good. Yeah. So, um, so tell us about you know. Let's go a little bit over each of what your part is with Straight Entertainment and um, how long you've been with it, and then we'll talk about your wonderful acting and singing career and your music video that we'll show at the end of the show. So. Okay. Well, hello everybody. Laura, thank you once again for having us. It's always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said earlier, everybody kno uh, knows me as El Maxim, but uh, I'm now Max Maxine because uh, I'm more doing the pop genre of music right now. So it's it was kind of important for me to get, I took my first and last names and kind of <laughs> try to recreate kind of more like a regeneration mm -hmm. of the kind of music I wanted to do. So um, again, I'm part of Straight Team Entertainment. I do a lot of the a &R and Straight Team with the other artists. I do a lot of the songwriting as well. I do a lot of event management and we do a, a lot of uh, teamwork together in the studio, out of the studio organizing shows to get out there and it, uh, the most important thing is to get our music heard mm -hmm. to get people to know who we are who we represent and uh, eventually l the whole world or internationally so okay. Max Maxine okay. it's a pleasure so where is where is your studio anyway oh we work with two studios right now okay. uh, uh, Howard University DC uh, Listen Vision Studio, mm -hmm. and then we have one uh, a little closer to where we live called Midnight Studios. Oh, okay, okay, great. So, little Tizzle, uh, let's talk about you. How did you um, get involved with um, Straight Team Entertainment, and you know, what is what is your what's your role, and what are your dreams? Um, first off, I gotta give um, T Oaks. A big shout out for having me over here for my first time at Max Max and too. And it's my pleasure meeting you as well too. Uh, actually I met um T Hoax at a red and red and black party and it just happened that we got to talking and at the time he was trying to have me come to his music video because mm -hmm. he liked the way I look. I was I was dressed properly too. Uh -huh. So he, he told me to come to his music video and all that. Then we got to talking. So I said, okay. Then I went to his music video. We chopped it down. I actually liked it. So I told him, like, I can rap. But he ain't, he ain't really believe me. He thought uh -huh. I was playing. So he sent me a beat. Then I wrote something down. I sent him my lyrics. And he liked it. Oh, nice. So he, he took me to the studio and we got it started. Three years ago, uh -huh. I dropped my first single, Understand Me. It's on iTunes and Amazon. Yeah, nice. I took today for 99 cents. Uh -huh. I, I'm pretty pleased. I beg you to check it out. Okay, you know, yeah. If you like it, you can support Straight to Entertainment. Great. I copy for 99 cents. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking, I'm looking really big because Straight to we work, we work as a family. Right. We work all together and all that. So I'm really trying to get better where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm really getting better because I got a good team as right. well. So That's I know awesome. I ain't gonna get I ain't gonna go wrong with that. Right. So I'm just giving all praises to God as well too. Mm -hmm. You know, and just trying to take it all. Great. And Man Man. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Yeah, um, I met um, Hooks too, my friends, my longtime friends since we were um, young. So we used to all do music, but we was just like not taking it serious, just for fun and all of that too. Mm -hmm. When he finally met him and they started doing like songs together, and I look at it like a um, 
positive thing sure. going on. So I happened to like talk to him to, to hook me up to him and let him like listen to one of my demos and all of that. So he did listen to it and he liked it and still haven't like got my single out yet, but we all have like um, a couple of songs that I'm featured with everybody in the team. So it's really a great foundation that we like looking up to make some big out there so everybody to know us and you know on about getting things together so now do you do rap too or what, what's your, yeah, I do your rap. Do rap as well okay yeah and george yes <laughs> i go by the name george hooks george Ho actually yeah. a lot of people know me as g hooks okay some people call me big hooks <laughs> you know i just you know i go with all those names sure you know? yeah i'm actually ceo of straight team entertainment we started way back in Germany, you know, that's where I, I was raised, uh -huh. you know. Uh, we, I've been doing this like 15 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we have different genre music we do. We do pop music, so she, she bring the pop flavor in the whole team. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do rap and R&B. You know, I'm an actor as well. Okay. You know, so I just cover the whole, you know, entrepreneur right. thing going on, you know what I mean? So. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I'm happy you have to have us here today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. So, so you don't have just music going on. You have some acting also going on. So let's talk about that. Yeah, it's from the time when I met Laura, we actually met on the set. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were acting. Uh, 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 what's the name of that movie? Oh, <laughs> <Did you think? laughs> oh, oh, oh uh, drug related uh, trilogy. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, hey, I've all, I have always felt like writing scripts and acting was went with the territory. <coughs> and from the time I was a child, I used to sit in in, in my bedroom and write whole stories. Oh, so mm -hmm. uh, I decided to try writing scripts. And after featuring in a couple of movies with some uh, with some prominent um, actors and actresses here in the D DMV area. I started writing scripts, and right now I have three scripts that I are completely finished. And one of them is about uh, female trafficking, which I'm really looking forward to in the summertime to shoot. Mm -hmm. It's called No Turning Back, and it's most of it is really not just fiction, but based on a real life story. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. On um, a female that lost her life in oh, the process. Yeah. So. Did you Did you know this person? Yes. Oh yes. my gosh! Yeah. Wow. It, it was very sad, Aww. so I always felt like there's a lesson to learn there, and who better to tell than artists? Sure. Artists have a voice. They have a way of, of telling stories that no one else can. Yeah. And once you build a fan base and the people out there uh, uh, listening to you and you, you become a mentor and a role model, mm -hmm. you, you have to touch topics that, that people can relate to that people can feel so that's what's brewing in the air right now um, oh, wow otherwise my music uh, single just dropped uh -huh. it's called addiction it dropped just uh, a few days ago yeah. a ago which congratulations I did with, yeah thank you <laughs> with XLG skinny um, okay. we shot the music video in Miami Florida mm -hmm. so it's 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 quite it's been creating quite a buzz uh -huh. but uh, it's on YouTube everyone just type Max Maxime addiction okay and hopefully we get to see it on the show as well oh yeah we're gonna watch at the end of the the show yeah 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 so great that's fantastic so how long did it take to do the music video down in Miami and and where did you shoot down there and what can you tell us a little bit about like the storyline of, of the music video uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we flew the entire crew uh, from DC and New York mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's it was shot by Amon shoot family uh, motion pictures and they're based in New York, so we have to fly everyone. It was a challenging day wow. because when we flew into Miami, we had no clue where we were gonna live. We knew we wanted to shoot on the South Beach, uh, 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 but we had no clue how we were gonna start, who we were gonna recruit as our actors and actresses. Oh, <laughs> and we got oh, there. Okay. So we're so we got there. It was first of all a challenge because it was. I think Valentine's Day weekend, which we hadn't thought about <coughs> that, so all hotels were booked out. 
but we finally got was somewhere it closer. This to past February or like last year? No, last, so, year last year. February. Was, okay. That's so right. we, we finally, say. <laughs> yeah. So we had to go a little bit out of South Beach and then drive into South Beach. So that took us all day. So we missed the first day shoot. Second day, we're on the beach and we're thinking, okay, how do we get actors and actresses on this music video? <laughs> so we're on the beach, get ready to shoot, but we have to recruit. So oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just grabbing people from the beach. We had to recruit. We had to audit and recruit. So we had a little crew of people going, uh, 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 a team. We, uh -huh. we became our team ourselves, asking a few people, do you want to be in this music video? Do you want to act? And, and, and then we came across some really, really good people. It, it was almost like an American Idol type thing with wow. people like yeah. auditioning for it. Uh -huh. So that's how we got our actress and actor for, uh, for the scenes that we shot at the beach. Wow. It was quite an experience. Yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, quite an experience. But again, the, the, the story behind it is basically about the strength of a woman, a strength of a woman's love, mm -hmm. and, and a male that wants to love her. Basically, I'm saying that I'm one heck of a lady. Do you really want to roll with this? Do you really want to love me? Sure. And if you do want to love me, then you need to step up to the plate. Uh -huh. And treat me right. Sure. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, I'm addicted to you, of course. Every female want to be addicted to the man that she's in a relationship with. Uh -huh. I would yeah. imagine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I no, 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 yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. So wow. that's what it's about. And it, it's got a catchy title, Addiction. Um, and again, it's, it's a really nice, nice modern day love story, basically. Uh -huh. Do you think any movies are going to pick it up like your last one? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. We have some. Uh, uh, we have a PR in Jamaica, and she's working really hard. She mm -hmm. got. She got. Uh, she got us Beanie Man. So I actually have a, a track with Beanie Man, oh. and she does movies as well. So oh, that's she's, awesome. Yeah. So there's a lot of promising things uh, going to happen this year. Sure. So you just you said the music video just came out a few days ago. So yeah, Friday. Um, the the actors that you found down mm -hmm. in Miami mm -hmm. have have you gotten any responses from them? <laughs> <laughs> Laura, have the weirdest thing is we lost our phones since that shoot, so no one has contact. So I was joking the other day, saying that I'm just gonna go to the like the police station and put out. Uh, a warrant for arrest <laughs> for yeah. this actor or actress. <laughs> that way, maybe they will be stopped on the road. It's like, oh, you were stopped by Max Maxime, and you have a video out on YouTube. Can you check it out? Right. So everybody was just laughing at that. But seriously, our hope is that the uh, we will be we should be able to connect with them sure. by emails. Sometime. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that's great. I think uh, the producers, you know, uh, the people who shot the video, mm -hmm. they got in contact with uh, I think with two of the uh, actors. Oh, that's yeah, okay. um, the guy, the main, the main guy in the um, in the storyline. Oh, that's mm -hmm. amazing. So that's I think amazing. nowadays, you know, social, social, uh, oh, yeah. social uh, the media, social media, and yeah. then people yeah. see your video and say, "Hey, yeah. I saw you." They'll be like, because okay. he was telling me he found the guy in through IG. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. So you just need to contact him through IG then. Yeah. Because I you actually was so amazed coming here. I started getting texts from West Africa. Oh, I just saw this video on YouTube. I just saw. So that's when I knew, OK, ah, this, right. this, this is going big. This oh, is really going to have a great. good uh, a good media response. Sure. Yeah. And you, you have a good like fan base in Africa, right, from where you're from, correct? Yeah, we're, we're improving. Okay. And we're creating a base internationally because mm -hmm. we're, we're we want to stay global. We want everyone to be sure. a part of us. Uh, we want to be in Hollywood. We want to be in in Nollywood. We want to be in Ghana Wood. We want to be in Bollywood, basically. Right. So we have no preference uh, because an artist is international. Right. It's global. Y what about Max and Wood? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maximum. <laughs> you can have your own Hollywood. <laughs> Maximum. So, uh, <laughs> that's an amazing thought, Laura. <laughs> I mean, I would definitely go for that. Yeah. So, so what's next? What's next? I know you you have a big plan to move out to Hollywood. Um, 
Yeah, you know? um, I've, a couple of producers uh, approached me uh, about doing uh, a project in Hollywood, and I did hop at the chance because uh, I felt like we've been in the East Coast for quite a bit now. So I, I have a future project called uh, Battlefield. Um, so I'm hoping to finish part one here mm -hmm. and then do part two in Hollywood. Oh, nice. So um, that's, that's our next move. And that's where we're ultimately headed because let's face it, the entertainment industry revolves around Hollywood, uh, New York, Atlanta. So to be flexible and be able to relocate to get people to learn more about you and to do more stuff with, with bigger artists, it's always, always going to be an honor. It's always going to be a privilege. And you don't want to miss out on those opportunities sure, yeah. by saying, oh, I live in this area. So. Right, right. Great. So uh, tell us about the fundraising that you do. Yeah, we, uh, I felt it, like I said, artists have a part to play in society a lot. And mm -hmm. when something is happening to a, a, a particular group of people, it's not just one group of people, it's happening to all of us. It should touch us in one way. And the, the people that eventually want to spread that out is artists because we can sing, we can talk about it, we can get people together mm -hmm. much easily. So. Uh, the, the Ebola fight is not just a fight for one person. It's a fight for humanity. So we've had a, a couple of concerts that we, we did last year, which we're still doing because our goal was to raise uh, at least uh, $10,000 to send to African uh, as a contribution for that. Mm -hmm. And we're close to that right now. Wow. Thanks to the teamwork that we have, mm -hmm. thanks to uh, the community accepting us, and we have a couple more shows to go. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. where have you been doing your shows? New York, uh -huh. um, Columbus, Ohio. Um, see. Just the mostly DMV. on the, um, you know, yeah. the East, East Coast. Coast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. East Coast. Mostly on the East Coast. Now, we try to focus more on DMV area as well. Right. Because right. that's where we base, you know. Mm -hmm. We had one, I think it was to December 20th. The turn turnaround was really good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And have you just been, as far as, like, letting people know about it, just, like, your social media? Yeah, and we, yeah we do more with social like media and the promotion through uh -huh. social media and Twitter, okay. yes, Facebook, right, and right. IG as well. So ha have you thought about doing fundraising for human, traf human, well, human trafficking? <laughs> I, that's a very good idea, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention, I think it would be great. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, because be that's a really, you know, I mean, Ebola is really mm -hmm. an important topic, you know, something to really, mm -hmm. you know, you want to make a difference and hopefully you find something to cure that. But also the human trafficking mm -hmm. that's been going on for a long time and it, it just it doesn't, it's probably not going away very anytime soon. You know, and at it, least it's or at really least make bad. some awareness about it, yeah. you know. So the, talking about the last case that happened in Nigeria, and then the, the same group of people are now in, from what I hear in Cameroon, where they're abducting young females, oh, yeah. and yeah. and then they're lost. It's it's just it's, it's just sad. really sad. Yeah. 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 Wow. So. Uh, for the you newbies here, um, <laughs> how is your how how is your experience? Um, you know, with 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 your company, and um, you know what what your you know what what's been the biggest challenge for you so far? The biggest challenge so far as an artist is really to touch everybody, because okay. it's not easy as an artist to touch everybody. But the music got to do it, because music is so is so full, and you know when you got that good music that everybody can relate to. Mm -hmm. then that's a good accomplishment right there. And that's what I'm really, really, really working on. And I'm so glad that I got good peoples around me. Mm -hmm. And you can see, that's my manager right there. That's my manager too. <laughs> so they stay grilling me. Their support system. They stay grilling me so I could be on the top and be a better person as well too. So I'm just glad to have my team with me and we working together. Okay. How about you, Mean Mean? mean, mean. 
<laughs> yeah, well, like, yeah, it's all the same. We just got to uh, put in that work to come out with something positive that can touch everybody so they can feel it and can relate to it with their, like, daily life, what they face out there, and maybe can get something that can help them with the struggle. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you, between the two of you, what quality do you guys have that not many others have? Or what, what can you bring to the table that not many others can bring? I say originality. Okay. Because my style, looking at me, you can tell I'm different from different people, you know, and that's what I got to offer, originality. I'm not going to fake it to make it for nobody. <laughs> I'm going to stay true. Yeah. <laughs> you write your song. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay real. I'm gonna stay that sounds real. like he's singing, stay, right? Yeah. I'm going to stay real all day so people can understand that this is who I really am. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can't just be out there trying to be somebody that I'm not. You see? Right. So right. I'm, I'm going to come through with that originality. I'm going to really bank them hard with it till they understand it. Like my song, Understand Me on iTunes and Amazon. So, you know, I got the originality okay. they've okay. never seen before. All right. I put it like that. Okay. Now, do you guys have, uh, each of you have, like, other than your your production company website, but do you have your own websites and or just, like, Facebook and Twitter and all that? What do you have? Yeah, pretty much everybody, uh, all the artists, just have, you know, have their own. Um, their, their own, uh, you know, social media site, like Twitter page, uh -huh. IG page, and Facebook. Okay. So I think, you know, I pretty much oversee everything. So I think for me that's the most challenging part. And, you know, uh, with the production as well, that everything should be on point. Right. But it pretty much, you know, um, they, they have control on their uh, social media. Okay. So. Well, thank you so much for coming. And I take it all of you have music on iTunes or Amazon and... People can go on to Facebook and look for all of you yeah. and like your pages and Correct. become friends with you and Correct. so forth and so on. And your your production company website is? Uh, for right now, uh, Straight Team uh, Entertainment. With S-T-R-8, yeah. Number straight eight, team. right? Yeah. Number eight. Okay, Straight Team. Yeah. For me, Twitter is Max on the score Maxim and the song is Addiction. Okay. And? Hello, Tesla. Little Tizzle. Your main man, Facebook, Instagram. M-A-I-N-E and then M-A-N-E, right? Yeah. And right. Yeah, you could get me on straightteamentertainment.com and, you know, Twitter at Big Hooks. Okay, great. Yeah. And well, IG. Thank you so yeah. much. And if you're just tuning in now, you can catch us on the web at www.potlock-online.org. And yeah, we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you. Music, 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 music.
Same way too, cause you got me buzzing so hot I'm burning. 